Moving on to one of my favorites, and that is customizing M leaders, uh, in particular, making them stand out. So if you've got a busy drawing and you're not entirely sure how to make things stand out, using text boxes or text frames within AutoCAD is a great way to show proposed works or more important items. So I'm just creating a uh, multi-leader here. I'm going to use that MA command to match the properties here to my black title block or text layer. But what I'd like to do is make this text really stand out within the drawing. So to do that, I'm going to go to the properties when I've got my multi-leader or M text selected, and I'm simply going to turn on text frame. Now you can change up the color and settings and line weights and stuff for in your properties. But for the most part, adding a text frame is going to highlight a specific point of your design. So I'll tend to use on busy site plans, these text boxes around my proposed features, and I won't put them on existing or less important features within the drawing. This allows the reader's eye to go to this text and it makes things a lot more clear when it comes to reading your drawings. Now, similarly, if you want to make drawings clear, the last tip here is going to save you a ton of time, and that is adding a background mask to your text automatically. Now, there are a couple ways to do this. For most text, you can simply double click on it, select the text, and click on the mask button up here to bring up the dialog box. Making sure to check both of these boxes and this one in particular to use the background color. This is going to create a white, typically, text box in behind your text so that things show up even when they're on top of, say, a hatched or colored in deck like this one. This label now is much more visible. It's automatically got that background mask added to it. And you can do this by the properties menu as well. 